Hi, Richo here for Composite IRF. Today I want to talk about mounting your aileron servos. Here we've got a finished wing here from an SU31 2.75 metre and as you can see, servos are mounted onto the top of the hatch tray, servo arm comes out, turn buckle comes out, attaches to the aileron horns and you get nice free unrestricted movement. Now in the kit, you're provided with the hatch tray, which is this item, and a plywood tray that you need to assemble and glue onto the bottom. Now essentially what happens here is this glues onto the bottom here and your servo drops in and your arm comes out. Now here's one I've set up before and as you can see it's glued on there. Composite IRF provides you the fiberglass, the tray and things to glue on it um, and some fiberglass to uh, attach these so that they don't break off. Now essentially it works quite fine. The problem I do have with it is as all servos uh, an out, have their output shaft offset, you end up with the servo arm very much to one side of the slot on the tray. Now, because of the way this mounts into the wing, you're very limited in how far you can move this because of the size of the footprint of the original tray provided. It works fine, and as I said, it won't fail, but the problem is you get restricted travel on one side, and unrestricted on the other, the slot gets snagged. Now you can get around this by using a longer servo arm, but to me that's not ideal. This can cause you problems by diminishing the output power of your servo essentially by using a longer leverage arm. And that's another whole different subject, we can get onto that later on, but while this works okay, I think there's an easier and simpler way to do this. Now there's quite a few trays available on the market besides the composite one. There's also a Seacraft item and there is this JR side mount tray. I like this one. Now why do I like this one better than say the Seacraft or the Composite IRF one? The footprint is much smaller. As you can see on these two here beside the Seacraft item, there's quite a deal of difference there, it's about 20 mil. So that gives me some room to move this to get the output slot shaft of the servo more central on the slot of the hatch tray. Now here's one I've mounted up, and as you can see, I've moved it offset to one side to get the servo output shaft as close to centre as I can get it. So you can see on this, while it's not exactly centre, you can't quite get it there because uh, you end up running out of room and you don't have enough space to slide this further over one side because inside the wing there's a supply mounting surface that this needs to screw onto, and this is as far as you can get it over. So ideally, it'd be great if it was completely in the centre, but this is as close as you're ever going to get it. And when it's like this, you get unrestricted travel on each side without having to carve out the slot or put a longer arm. Now, some people get a little stressed that this little item here is plastic. It's no big deal. I've used these exclusively for the last 10 years and I've never seen one break in operation. It's about $4.50, makes the job really simple and the outcome is ideal.